Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 18th of March 2019. This will be for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in that order, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what you guys have in love for Monday. All right, one more. All right, Gemini. You guys have the Ten of Cups. Nice way to start the reading. Libra, you guys have the Page of Wands. And Aquarius, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Knight of Wands. Clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. And the Empress in reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and outcome of the day is Temperance. Wow. Amazing energy for you, Air Signs. So, I will tip you guys on down here. So you can see your cards. Okay. So with your guys' overall energy, somebody is coming into your life or leaving your life very quickly. Um, it's both cases for um, some of you guys. So um, for some of you, um, you could have recently met an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, heavy Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands and the Temperance being your outcome. Um, this person came in storming your life um, and just... Um, bowling you over uh, the attraction that you have for this person is so magnetic so connecting so um, unreal it's hard to believe for some of you this person is not only um, sexually attractive to you uh, like physically attractive to you but this person is you feel very smart very loving very nurturing um, they could be a mother um, but this person is uh, kind of the whole package as what you guys would think of this person. You do also have the mistress in reverse clarifying this. So this person isn't wanting just a fling. This person isn't wanting um, something... This person isn't wanting just sex. It's not going to be an in and out energy as the knight often represents um, with the empress in reverse. They want something stable. This is not what the... what. Um, this is not uh, a very flighty energy for you guys. Um, for some of you, you do have somebody leaving your life. Could be a Taurus um, is what I'm getting here. Um, that's the only sign I'm getting. So if you don't have a Taurus leaving your life, then could be Virgo or Capricorn, but um, very heavy Taurus here um, for some of you. So, but um, for the majority, uh, this is a very... A positive person entering your life. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini. Okay, bye. I'm going to take that back because I didn't call for it. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Gemini? Gemini men. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Gemini men? Okay, and Gemini. Females. Thank you. All right. So, um, the person that is coming into your life, Gemini men, you feel is they just make you emotionally like giddy almost. This is a very new, very exciting um, connection for you, um, Gemini's. This you can see this person having. You can see having a family with this person. Um, this person just emotionally fulfills every one of your desires. Um, you could have just recently left a situation, um, could have been a marriage um, or just a relationship, but you recently ended a relationship with somebody else. Um, so you did not even see this coming. You could have like just just closed the door to a different relationship and this person came flying in. Um, 
not expecting it and just bowling you over. But Gemini man, you see this as somebody that you want to build a life with, with the four of wands. Um, this is somebody you can see yourself marrying. Once again, another Sagittarius card. So this could be a Sagittarius, um, but you, most importantly, you want to build a foundation with this person. You want to build a life with this person. You want to build a home with this person. This person is your happily ever after, Gemini. And with the outcome card for you being temperance, um, I do see this moving in a positive direction. Um, this person brings you peace. This person brings you balance. This person is your other half. This person... Um, with these two cards and your four of wands, uh, very possibly could be a twin flame, but most definitely this is a soulmate connection. Doesn't have to be a twin flame, but most definitely it is a soulmate and somebody that you um, potentially could spend the rest of your life with um, if that's what you're wanting. This person is very nurturing, very loving, and feels the same way about you. Um, for you, uh, Gemini females, you guys are getting a second chance at love um, with somebody uh, getting the judgment card here. The universe is giving you a second go around with this person. Um, this person could have took off in the past due to a third party situation, um, but they are returning and you are getting your second chance, Gemini, with this person. They're coming in very quick, very um, fast. This person has done a lot of work on themselves. They have uh, learned how to nurture their own being, how to be stable, how to get rid of that damn third party energy. Um, this third party is gone. This person is coming back very quickly to let you know that they have found stability. They have found um, balance. They have found a way back to you because once again, this is a twin flame for you, uh, Gemini females. This is them healing and returning after um, purging out a uh, could have been the mother of their children could have been just somebody they were having a third party or in a third party situation you them and that other person that other person's gone um, twin flame connection is here for you gemini females all right let's move on to our libras <coughs> excuse me so Libra, you are also connecting with a fire sign. You are reaching out, could be sending a message to this fire sign, wanting to connect, wanting to hook up, wanting to um, talk to each other. This is somebody that you used to have a relationship with, um, but it didn't, it didn't make it through. Um, let's see why the page of wands is here for you, Libra men. All right, you have the two of cups in reverse, or in, not in reverse. I was looking at the empress. I'm sorry. You have the two of cups. So you're reaching out to a fire sign that um, could be a Sagittarius as well that you once had a connection with. You were with this person. You could have even been married to this person, could have had children. If you didn't have children together, there was a children, there was children in the relationship. So either you had children or they had children, Libra. But uh, you feel this is your soulmate and you are reaching out, wanting to speak with them, wanting to talk to them, sending them a message, wanting them or wanting to come see them, wanting them to come see you because you're wanting to um, give this a second go. You're wanting to um, see if the two of you both work on this connection, nurture this connection, if it can end in balance and healing and love and uh, just a beautiful connection. Why is the page of wands here for Libra females? Thank you. The ace of wands. My goodness, everybody's dealing with fire signs today. All right. So, uh, Libra females, you could possibly be getting a message or you're sending a message um, about a passionate connection, about a new idea, about um, wanting to come together and rework something that didn't work out in the past. But this new passionate beginning, this new passionate idea is going to be one of success. It is going to bring them in very quickly um, and very, very fast, very excited. This connection uh, wow, you have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of your clarifying deck too. This is a beautiful, beautiful connection for you, Libra females. Um, this person brings, uh, or this person is coming back to you because you've put in the time to self-heal, to um, find that self-love, that self-confidence, to heal all the hurts of the journey, and now you are ready to come back together, and you are getting this new beginning, this uh, passionate new start, um, having a 
new creative ideas um, coming together with this energy very quick to get off the ground something that didn't in the past and it is going to pan out being very successful very uh, financially stable and very abundant in emotional connection as well very very amazing for you libra and gemini's way to go especially connecting with a fire sign or a taurus all right, let's head into Aquarius. You have the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, you, you're having a hard time releasing memories of the past. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, the Three of Wands is in your bottom of the deck. So um, your blessings aren't coming in that you were hoping for. Um, you're trying to manifest a connection, and it's just not happening right now. Um, you guys are having a hard time releasing somebody of the past, walking away from um, somebody that you had a connection with. This is somebody that you could have ha that you could have children with, um, but this is a connection that ended. The person you are dealing with, uh, Aquarius men. Um, either you were the one that was in and out of the relationship or they were. Um, I am, uh, you know, being being drawn towards that they were the one that was back and forth because you're the one that just can't let go. Um, and you can't let, you're having a hard time letting go because y your energy and their energy was being juggled in the past. This, this was a um, third party situation, um, most definitely for you Aquarius men. Um, you're having a hard time letting go of the fact that they didn't choose you, that they picked somebody else over you, and that there was some deceit and lying and cheating in this connection. But you are your call of action for today is to find that healing place in your heart, to find balance in your life, and to be patient with yourself. You can't heal overnight. So it is going to be hard to get through these energies. It is going to be hard to, to get through these emotions. But when you do, balance will be restored in your life and you will be able to move forward um, and be able to um, be in a relationship that's healthy. For you, um, Aquarius females, you are also a part of a third party with the Empress here in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, this energy was very in and out of your life as well. Um, this person had more than just you in their life and even though you were loving and nurturing and and committed to the relationship, they were not. And you're having a hard time letting go of this as well. Um, you are also getting this same message as the men. It's time to find some balance, time to find some healing. Ask your angels for help. It will work. Um, and you're going through a time of transformation. Um, the, the growth, the transformation is the hardest part. You know, everyone talks about the, the, the caterpillar going into the cocoon and becoming a butterfly, but nobody talks about that pain that, that, that is, uh, associated with that cocooning. It's not easy. You're completely letting yourself die and being reborn something completely different. And you are going to emerge out of this, uh, Aquarius females, very beautiful, uh, and just, being able to, um, being able to really help heal is what I'm hearing. Um, so Aquarius females, you could be a healer and you don't even know it yet, but as you heal, as you get through this heartache, as you get through this pain, you are going to, um, become more and more and more aware of those gifts that you have from the divine and your healing energies that you can help other people with. So, Aquarius, you're still going through a little bit of difficult energy. Libra and Gemini, absolutely amazing readings for you guys. But let's see what our goddess guidance has for advice for us for Monday, March 18th. Let's start with Gemini. What guidance does Gemini need for March 18th, 2019? Gemini. Whoa, way too many. All right, one card for Gemini. All right, Gemini, you have fa uh, fairness. This situation will be handled with in a fair manner. So let's see what they have to say about that with this card. Okay. So with this card, um, it is saying, let me suggest another def 
definition for fairness. It's when all parties involved surrender their personal agendas in favor for the greatest good of the entirety of the group. This requires trust and wisdom of the whole. When it comes to matters of disputes, the attacks are based on fears that you may not receive your share. Yet attacks amplify the hurt and, and the pain that is caused the dispute in the first place. Why surrender your attachment to a specific outcome? Instead, direct your holy will towards resolution. Hold a firm vision of peace in your life and let all the pieces fall into place in a harmonious manner. All things that, um, that uh, are coming towards you are that of fairness. If you are coming out of a situation, out of a relationship that you felt was unfair in the past, you are most definitely receiving a balanced um, energy coming towards you. Yeah. Yeah, it's also saying, I'm getting um, like from my angels that um, if you, you're going to go, you're going through a loss, not a lawsuit, but like a court system right now. For some of you, this could be a divorce you're going through. Um, and it is, don't fear it. Everything is going to um, come out very fair and balanced. Um, custody is going to be balanced like 50, 50, um, your assets, everything it's, it's going to turn out very fair. And, um, in both of your guys's favor, it's going to end in, um, in a harmonious, uh, ending. So awesome. Any divorce that can end harmoniously is amazing. All right. For you Libras. Whoa. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Libras for Monday, the 18th. Monday for Libras. All right. Boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands of your time and energy. All right. So let's see what we have for that one. So your guidance for today, Libras, is a sincere desire to give of service is wonderful. However, there's a, a distinction between giving of yourself and giving up yourself. If you feel tired, guilty, or resentful while helping others, then you're not truly helping them. You're injecting poisonous energies into the relationship, and that will benefit nobody. Step back and release the situation. As you respect your own boundaries, others will give or others will begin to recognize and respect them within you as well. Now that's a healthy behavior to teach others. So uh, Libra, you guys are just giving too much of yourselves. Um, don't do things out of uh, obligation or guilt. Yeah. Especially Libra females is what I'm hearing. Um, don't don't overgive yourself. Don't uh, don't wear yourself too thin is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's do Aquarius. What guidance do you have for Aquarius today? Monday the 18th. Aquarius. All right. Your guys' card is. Cordelia, go outside. All right. So what this card is saying is you have been indoors for too long. Get outdoors and enjoy the fresh air. Being cooped up is not the natural way for inhabitants of this exciting planet to live. Believe me, there's plenty to see and the experience when you exit your four walls and roof will be of a pleasure. A daily venture outside will not only receive revive your spirit and soul, but it'll give you hope and faith in this planet's very extensive existence and future. You'll see all of the goodness that's in store within nature, the flowers ready to unfurl, the leaves that are sprouting, the birds that the birds that hop about, and even the wind that affectionately caresses you. Don't let another day go by without stepping outdoors into the most entertaining and exciting of environments. Your, manif your manifestation will appear in May 
and or when the weather is warmer. Spring is going to be big for you guys, for Aquarius. So um, release that energy, release that heartache, because you are manifesting uh, most definitely um, in May or when the weather gets warmer. So... Yeah, as I'm also hearing that you need to recognize the need for balance in your life. Um, you need to uh, have more rest um, and not working so hard, more play and not so serious. You just need to find that balance, um, Aquarius, and uh, you'll feel so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Monday message, and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.